This is a comparison video between this transformer based SMA SB1200 grid tie inverter and this non transformer, more modern Solar River grid tie inverter. Now, this one is G83 stroke 2. And the interesting thing is that it fires up really quite quickly, like 30 seconds. Um, whereas the SMA takes quite a while. And we've got an energy monitor here as well. So what I propose to do, it's a clear sky. It's very even sunshine. That clickings the uh, charge controller on the batteries. Um, very even sky. So what I propose to do is to do a comparison. So let's just zoom in on this screen. Now on these SMAs they just scroll through by themselves but we've got 1059 and the energy monitor shows 1080 as I went to look. 1059 1080 Okay, so there's 21 watts difference there. So what I propose to do now is disconnect quite quickly. Connect everything up and we'll see what happens. Because we're using the same panels and it's the same effective sun and for some reason the uh, fans come on on the main inverter, somebody's drawing power, but let's disconnect the mains there remove these DC connectors which are sun clicks and they're slightly different from MC4 connectors so I've made up some leads to work with the solar river let's connect the mains and then connect the other DC connection move that cable out of the way so that was fairly quick hopefully it was like 20 seconds or something like that press the button to light it up 22 seconds now it's interesting that this doesn't scroll through by itself you have to press the button to scroll it through uh, and also if you get to a particular page as it were then you can press this and hold it and it will lock it in situ there we go normal state one oh nine two one oh nine four so that's pretty similar okay one oh nine two one oh nine four so there's two watts difference which is interesting so the onboard watt meter on the solar the river agrees with the energy monitor. I'll just scroll through this just to show you whilst we're here. It's only done 96 kilowatts total. That's today. But it keeps showing the, the running AC watts. The PV volts 154. The PV current 7.6. And if you press that, like that, lock, and it will stay there until you press the button again. And it just scrolls through. So there you go. So the difference, um, if we work on 
the onboard watt meters is somewhere in the region of thirty three watts or if we go on the energy monitor the difference is eleven watts not a great deal of difference and I'm actually quite surprised that it's so small but there you go we just caught a nice window of the Sun where uh, the output didn't vary hugely And now the main battery inverter has stopped its fan just at the end of the video.